Afghan hound dog breed information and personality traits. An independent, strong-willed dog, the Afghan can be downright standoffish, but also quiet and clownish when the mood strikes. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. The male Afghan hound stands about 27 inches tall, the female about 25 inches. Afghans generally weigh between 50 and 60 pounds, 23 to 27 kilograms. The Afghan has a regal appearance owing to its proud carriage and long, silky coat. Its strong, arched neck, prominent hips, large paws, seemingly exaggerated bend at the knees and a tail ending in a donut bend, give the breed a distinctive profile. The Afghan hound's head and muzzle are long, narrow and refined, with a slightly convex bend of the muzzle. The ears are long and covered with even longer hair. The head crown, forequarters, chest, flanks, hindquarters and legs are thickly covered with long, fine, silky hair, the coat on the face and back, or saddle, is short and glossy. The most common coat colors are black, black and tan, red, cream, blue, brindle, domino or white. The Afghan hound can have a wide range of hues as well, and the creams and reds often, but not always, have black masks. Afghan pups do not resemble the long-haired adults. They have fuzzy hair on their cheeks, called monkey whiskers, and over their saddles. The short, fluffy, puppy coat begins to fall out at about one year of age, giving way to the glossy, steadily lengthening adult coat. In motion, the Afghan hound has a striking appearance, owing to its elastic, powerful stride, smooth pace and sweeping locks. Personality True to its origins as a hunter bred to think on its feet, the Afghan hound is strong-willed and independent, aloof and self-confident. A study in contradictions, the Afghan hound has been described as fiercely brave but possibly timid, flighty but sometimes quiet and lazy, dignified but clownish. The Afghan persona ranges from loving to downright standoffish, and these dogs can be quite wary of strangers. If not properly socialized, the Afghan is prone to developing a feral disposition. Living with The Afghan hound is a high-maintenance dog for a number of reasons. Though highly intelligent, Afghans can be difficult to train because they are stubborn. They are highly sensitive to harsh correction, which often elicits a refusal to obey. They respond best to gentle guidance and firm discipline. Regular grooming is key to maintaining the Afghan's coat. Afghans require weekly baths and brushing to remove dead hair and to prevent the tangling and matting to which they are prone. Adult Afghans shed in the spring and fall, and after illnesses, unspayed bitches shed their coats after every season. Though they can make fine apartment dogs and true couch potatoes, Afghans require plenty of exercise to ward off boredom and destructive behaviors such as chewing. At minimum, Afghans should be walked a mile or two daily, and a fenced-in yard for running is essential. The breed is notorious for ignoring pleas to come and death by car is an all-too-common tragedy. Afghans should never be allowed to roam unsupervised, as their predatory drive can render them a threat to neighborhood pets. With proper training and vigilance on the part of the owner, Afghans can be compatible with both children and other pets. Afghans are extremely thin under their thick coats, and they eat far less than their size might suggest. A high-quality dog food, possibly supplemented with vegetable oil, can help keep the skin and coat healthy. Ear stockings, called snoods, may be used to prevent soiling of the long ears when the Afghan eats. History An ancient member of the Sighthound family the Afghan hound was first bred thousands of years ago by nomadic peoples of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and northern India. Much of the breed's history has been lost as warlike factions led by leaders like Genghis Khan and Alexander the Great overran the region. The breed was developed and has been shaped by the need to course game across mountainous terrain. An extremely skilled hunter, the Afghan was used to bring down both large and small game, including antelopes and perhaps even leopards. Although many present-day experts doubt that leopards were the Afghans' traditional prey, eyewitness accounts tell of lone Afghans killing leopards by seizing them by the neck and severing the leopards' spines in their jaws. Afghans made their first pilgrimage out of the Middle East with British soldiers, who brought them back to England in the 19th century. The Afghan hound was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1926. It became known for its glamour and reached its greatest popularity in the 1970s. 
Afghans are now kept as house pets and show dogs rather than hunters, although some adventurous owners take them lure coursing to simulate a hunt. Their flowing tresses and noble attitude render Afghans perennial winners in the show ring. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.